What's good, YouTube? It's Jiggy Tech back at you live, coming at you with a new video today. And something I hear a lot is, how can I make my Mac faster? So, what I've always done is I've used my activity monitor to clear up some CPU usage. And that usually makes the computer faster because there's a lot of stuff running and it's just taking up memory. So what you can do is hit command enter to just, or command space, sorry, to just spotlight search. And there's search up activity monitor. So once you do this, an activity monitor will come up. So here you have your CPU, your memory and just all this stuff that you don't really need to know about your network, all that stuff. So what I usually do is I go into my memory and here you see my memory pressure is actually green. So my computer is running pretty smooth right now. But if yours is red, you definitely have some stuff running that is slowing down your computer. So shut that down. So if we look here, the thing that's taking up most space is my kernel task, but that's your Mac. You need that to run your Mac. So the next biggest thing is Google Chrome. Now, at first, you're probably gonna look at this and say, what is Google Chrome helper? I didn't know what that was either at first until I uh, did some research and I figured out that these are actually like individual tabs that are open. So if you go to my Google Chrome right now, I have YouTube open. And then if I close this and I come back here, Google Chrome Helper 374 megabytes is open just for this YouTube tab. YouTube takes a lot of memory up in your browser and Google Chrome does too. So if you have a lot of tabs open, a quick way to just shut them down besides closing them is you wanna hit on the Google Chrome helper and just hit the X and then click force quit. If you see here, it just terminates the page. So also you can shut down entire browsers, hit Google Chrome, hit X, force quit, and the whole browser will shut down. Now, another thing that takes up so much space in my computer is Photoshop, which is why I kind of dislike it. I don't even use it that much. I just had it for a project in my game development class. So I'm gonna go here. This is taking up 63 megabytes in my memory. So I'm gonna, you know, get rid of that cause it's clipped. So here we click X, force quit on that and just find anything on here. Be careful with this stuff. Some of this stuff is sensitive that your computer needs to run, but there's always gonna be stuff like your messages that if you're not using it, just force quit. And if you look down on memory pressure, it's actually going down. So your, actual, your computer will be able to run faster and more smoothly as your memory pressure goes down. And it's, as you can see, I have used two gigabytes out of my four gigabytes. So I got a lot of space on here left. It's able to run smoothly and that will help you run your computer better. And yeah, so just find that stuff on your computer that you're not using with activity monitor. Cause sometimes it won't be open, but it'll still be running in the background. So you gotta really like look for that stuff. Like there's a lot of stuff that you can close the window, but the application or the utility will still be running in the background. So yeah, try this out. If it makes your computer faster, congrats. If it doesn't, you have some bigger problems than just memory usage and you need to go check that out. So if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be coming at you with more videos soon. Did you think it was